The country's Prime Minister Ehud Olmert says he's not open to a ceasefire. We want people in the south of the country not to have to experience the difficulties they currently endure. The Israeli military says it will continue the offensive until it's reached its goals. And they say if there's a ground offensive, it will be major, but short-lived. And Israel has announced that it will allow 400 foreigners to leave the Gaza Strip on Friday. But for the Palestinians who live there, there is no escape. The enclave is basically sealed off, and this is one reason why the people living there face such hardship. But some aid is getting through. Israel says it is letting in supplies, and the United Nations is sending shipments via the Rafah border. These UN trucks are bringing urgently needed supplies to the Gaza Strip from Egypt across the Rafah border. They're carrying food and medicine, but the UN says this will not meet the huge needs. The world body is also calling for more permanent measures. And then you have to look indeed at uh, arrangements for the crossings. What we need, of course, is uh, an uninterrupted and continuous uh, opening of, uh, of crossing. Despite the UN aid deliveries, basics are in short supply. While the attacks continue, it's difficult to provide people with essentials. We call on our brothers in the Arab world, open the borders, support the Palestinian people. There's no flour, no food, no water, no electricity. But Israel denies this. Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni says there is no humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip, adding that a ceasefire to allow aid deliveries is therefore redundant. But few nations share her optimism. Greece is sending aid to the people in the Gaza Strip with two Air Force flights carrying 28 tons of medicines, blood and dressings. The shipments are first being flown to Tel Aviv. Then the World Health Organization will take the supplies on to the crisis area.